Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Civilization V as Arabia. So last time we finally managed to vassalize Babylon and now there is finally peace uh, on our continent under our rule. Um, unfortunately, Denmark attacked us, so uh, this won't be a peaceful episode, there is still some fighting, but it doesn't really seem that Denmark is taking the attack uh, as seriously as it seemed uh, from the start. So hopefully when we get rid of these ships that are uh, near our coast, uh, there won't be anything else and we'll have time to prepare uh, our like navy properly for the uh, for the war with Denmark. I'm not sure if I'll try to attack during this war or if I'll give myself some extra time. Uh, we currently have 11 corvettes and 5 frigates. Ideally I'd like to double these numbers but I'm not sure uh, the unit cap will increase enough for that. I think the minimum would be like plus 5 corvettes and plus 5 frigates. That's what I would like to get. Well, we'll see. It all depends on how many units we get uh, when Babylon gets, or units, how many, um, or how much room do we get when um, uh, Babylon gets out of resistance. So we'll find out soon how many ships uh, we can afford to probably buy. I don't think I'm going to be building them. Just takes too long. And we currently have uh, some extra buildings that we definitely want to build. Okay, so that's the plans. Um, uh, there's some comments. So where do we start? First, um, now when we... or We didn't get Summer Palace and Babylon. Uh, so do we still want to keep our chanceries? Or do we want to build more? We do. <clears throat> they won't be amazing, but they're still worthy. Uh, worthy worth it. Uh, they cost us three gold per turn each, but they give us one gold for every city-state friend. And we have currently two for seven uh, city-state friends, so we are making four gold uh, from each uh, chancery. As I said, not great, but it's worth it. And th this number should go up. Uh, the more people we vassalize, uh, the more likely it will be that uh, we'll be able to maintain friendship with uh, more city-states. So the chancery should uh, become better. And another comment, actually multiple comments, we're talking about uh, our oil situation. Mm, there are, well, some people mentioned the uh, like sea oil. Unfortunately, sea oil uh, there requires refrigeration, and <clears throat> that's just uh, too far in the future to be relevant. Most of my games end like about the time when uh, when I research refrigeration. So at that point, it's more or less irrelevant. And I think this game is going to be similar this time. We may even end the game before we even get there. So the oil that's in the sea, uh, we can't uh, count on that. But there is actually some oil that I overlooked last time. I'm talking about this tile. I already bought it. I completely missed this oil. It's actually in range, in working range uh, of an Iran. So that's plus 5 here, which already gives us 18 when we improve everything. And then there is oil here, of course. Uh, so I mentioned that I could get this one with the general if I wanted to. With this oil that I overlooked last time, I don't think I need this one anymore. I mean, there is the option, just in case, but I think 18 oil will be enough. There are actually not that many units that require oil. Usually, when you go, like, tank heavy, that's a problem, because then you have tanks and um, planes both needing oil, but uh, we will go... Um, we will go infantry, light tanks that require aluminum, and uh, then bombers. And, of course, siege weapons. So, siege weapons are uh, iron, Bombers are oil and uh, light tanks are aluminum. For our ships, uh, the melee line doesn't need anything and the ranged line requires iron. So uh, 
Uh, that's also not a problem. You actually may not have enough iron, although there should be some... Oh, there's only two. We have 12. Eh, we'll see. There is... Actually, this is too far. And it's only two anyway. Uh, we have, actually, no, I don't think we will build that many rank ship. We'll have like 10 maximum, so we should be fine. So yeah, I think at this point we have enough uh, strategic resources for everything that we want to do. So that's another problem that we have to, uh, or hopefully don't have to worry about. So where do we start? Enough talking, let's start doing something. I think <clears throat> we want to get rid of this ship. Uh... Oh, you already attacked? Or... No, you don't have extra range. That's the problem. Okay, so city starts. Shoot. This is a little risky, but I really want that ship gone. Then... You two can switch. You can shoot. You can... Sh oh, this is not the dying. That's for sure. Switch. That's tank. Oh, right. That's uh, the dreadnought line. Okay, whatever. You can move a little bit closer. Uh, fortify, fortify. Do we have any more units that could maybe do some shooting here? Not really. I don't want to bring my ships yet because um, I'm not really prepared for. A, like a larger battle there could be ships all over the place and I wouldn't be surprised if Denmark had a, a pretty strong navy still so I'll just keep my ships back fight whatever comes too close and once uh, we are grouped up on one side and the other side we will just see what happens when we uh, start sailing to, towards Kufa Okay, next. Um, mm -hmm. You, my friend, will move south. Do you think Germany would be so rude to get like a citadel here or here? I hope not. How much money do we have? I was thinking about buying these two tiles to make it even less likely. But this one is too far. I could maybe buy this one. Oh, the ship didn't move. Well... No, actually, wait, wait, wait. This is still... Uh, still... Uh, turn 353. It's not the new turn. These two just arrived. This guy actually might be able to shoot once, but we can shoot. Okay. 44, 45. Not too many units. Go there. Next. Oh, that's gonna keep uh, Denmark busy. All oh, right, more units. I think I'm gonna sell them or most of them. <clears throat> can you move now? Finally, yes, you can. Great. Fortify, you will move back. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna keep 
have the musket man. Because I still... Well, I could technically just switch these two. Overall, I would rather have uh, range units in my cities. So... I'll keep you. Uh, I'll definitely get rid of this guy. This guy is also new. I could promote him into medic, but yeah, I just don't have room for these units. I have more than enough land units. I need ships. Are you new? Yes. What is this? Need new selection. Uh, what we need is to flip these two cities. And I was actually thinking about um, getting another prophet and send him to Babylon to flip four Babylonian cities with the prophet. And then hopefully they will um, flip the remaining cities and then also flip Vienna for us. Okay, I'll probably have to move the units in waves. Uh, we are definitely not um, uh, crossing the sea for a while. So I can't afford it to uh, always move like, I don't know, 10 units at a time, something like that, to make it less messy. Oh, also, I want to finish uh, Slater Mill before I start working on the Brandenburg Gate. Because I think Brandenburg Gate should be safe-ish. I might even pay for it and use the, use the engineer to speed things up a little bit there. But I'm not really afraid of uh, losing it. Might be wrong, of course, but I think... Because Brandenburg Gate comes from military science, uh, we should be fine. From what I remember, most of the AIs basically just entered industrial era, so they should be here with their tech progress. I don't think there is anyone who would be in this line. <clears throat> I might be actually wrong about that because uh, Babylon surprised me with four <coughs> excuse me surprised me with forty four attacks, but yeah, I think it's fine. I also checked um, our options for some extra. Um, or where to get some extra happiness, and we don't have to worry about that either. We actually have quite a lot of uh, happiness coming. There is free thought, minus five unhappiness from religious unrest in all cities is huge. And then um, the finisher gives us minus one unhappiness from all needs in all cities. So, uh, yeah, happiness long term should be fine. So I think at this point it really is just about ending the game. It's still gonna be some tough fighting, don't get me wrong, but I don't think uh, there is anything uh, like any mechanic in the game that could cause significant issues at this point. Everything that I can think of we have a solution for. Hmm. 
so that's what court house. Now let's start it with walls. It's a coastal city after all, so let's at least get walls. Then we're gonna get some of the basics. Uh, barracks and then probably a castle and then we can catch up with the rest. Okay, Denmark is attacking Cape Town. I think we have time to bring our ships and help with the defense there. I'm gonna move back. I'd like to get more frontline ships. So if I buy. Where are you? One. Two. Three more corvettes. We group up here. And then uh, that should be about the same time as we group up down here. And then we will see what we can do in Cape Town. But I mean, there is no way those ships take the city. They will, oh, wait, I had free cavalry there to send. Mm, I sold it instead. Would I be... No, oh, I wouldn't get an alliance anyway. Probably doesn't matter. I could have probably gotten a little bit more gold. The terrain here is so horrible that I can't even provide some direct support. I mean, I could try... Try to have uh, the cavalry like here and help if there is a ship on this tab, it's so bad. I don't think that's gonna happen. Fortify. Oh, we are almost at 50% at this point. That's nice. Next. Yeah, let's see how... Oh, the city is taking damage. Maybe I was wrong. Oh, ah, three... Three ocean tiles. Okay, this is... Uh, Annoying. I definitely don't want the Danish city on our continent. Oh, there are also land units. Oi, 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 oi. do I have? It's like three turns maximum. Oh, 
Where's the rest? Come on, sail faster. Just giving new orders because I just noticed there is a, a barbarian musket man, so I don't want to take unnecessary damage from him. You can stay here. Is there anything I could do to help Cape Town? No. Next. I mean, we can always liberate it. Actually, the damage isn't that bad. Danish operatives succeed in Mecca. Well, good for them. Who declared war? Sidon. I think I already checked that a couple of times somewhere on the other side of the world. Oh, and by the way, there are some city states we can peace out with. Let's get a quick windmill. <clears throat> and I wanted to queue up some more buildings in Hamburg. Circus. Workshop windmill. That, 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 that. Okay. Now, what do we do with this caravan? I think I'm still gonna send food to Mecca. Because we don't really need anything else. I mean, if we, let's say, turn them into into gold trade routes. We are already making over 600 gold per turn, so if we, if we start making, let's say, 700 gold per turn, it's not gonna be a huge difference. I definitely would rather grow the capital faster and work more specialists. <clears throat> That's a brave caravel right there. Define. 
Okay. Uh, resources. Uh, let's get the coal. feeling that I wanted to do something else this turn. Hmm, I have no idea. Well, what I can definitely do is get another caravan. Next. Oh, hey, target. Not anymore. Damn it. Seriously, Barbarian Frigate, now? Strategic monopoly on coal. Those are the things that I never remember. Plus one movement for naval units. Oh yeah. And I think I will take the golden age. Excellent. Uh, Belgrade wants you to capture Arhus. Where is Arhus? This could make the decision for me about where do we start the invasion. Damn, there are so many good tiles around here. Yeah, I think we actually look all of this. Uh, do we want to work that, or I wouldn't mind working some production, but how much is it? No, it's it's decent. I'm not really missing that much. I'm not really missing anything. I guess one engineer slot is fine. Now, what do we want to build? Uh, let's start with the monument. Mecca. How much production is this thing? 3,000. That means we want to work on it for like six turns and then try to rush it. a little bit more food perhaps what are we doing oh we're actually doing fine food wise okay let's get back to these cities And we can even do the observatory and then a return back for like castles and things like that. And the other one. That was Salzburg, right? Doesn't really matter in what order I build it. Something like that, whatever. <clears throat> Uh, 
Okay, now we have to be careful. Or do we? There have to be ships down here. Like, there's just no way the city lost 400 hit points to this. Hey, can we kill you? No. I have exactly not enough action points. I hope I didn't fortify some workers accidentally. Now you should definitely move this way. I already have a musketman ready as a replacement. Okay, let's see what happens. At this point there should be some reaction. Uh, no, I'm not selling my coal, I'm not selling my oil, I'm not selling, selling my iron. I might sell some horses if someone wants them, but nothing else. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. How much damage can I do? Quite a lot. Enough for a kill, unfortunately. There is nothing here? What the hell? And I don't even think that there were any melee ships here, because if there were melee ships attacking the city, they would, uh, at some point, would have pillaged the workboats. What the hell? How did the city lose so many hit points?
All right, we did get uh, an admiral. I was wondering what that sound was. Okay, you can move there. You can move there. I want you out of the water. Okay, so you are done. There's some oil down here. You are done. Now, this is connected, this is connected this way, this way, and this way. So we don't need any of these roads. Uh, sure, let's finish the farm first. Okay, how much money do we have? 4,000. How does it look like with those ships? And how does our unit cap look? 74. They probably don't want to get more than like three extra ships. That's uh, gonna be... Yeah, that's not happening. Unfortunately... What are you missing? Seaport. That's gonna take a while. That's gonna take a long time. Holy crap. Just gonna speed things up in one city. I'm even thinking about... Using the engineer to finish the seaport. Uh, how much production is that? Ah, that's a waste. Damn it. Next. Look at the happiness out of nowhere. Okay, so you want to peace out? I don't think so. It's good that we have the option. Well, if I get into trouble, if I move too close to his main fleet, if he still has a main fleet, that's... Also a thing that France could have destroyed it already. group or rather group up you 
much money do we have? Still, still three thousand. That means. Much iron, fourteen. It's time to upgrade from wood to iron. Wait, you can move here. Just be somewhere. <clears throat> I hope Germany can take care of this. Not that I don't trust them, but there is a worker that I don't want to lose at the moment. Okay, do we want musicians? Probably not. Engineer 97, uh, that's probably not happening. Merchant? Let's get that musician at least one. Are you done? Yes. I think we can slowly start lowering the number of workers. Yeah, this is how confident I am that we're not gonna lose the wonder. And I hope I'm not wrong, because I just invested quite a lot into it. Next. I don't think that our ships can be fixed at sea, so all the ships that are missing some hit points, I think I want to send them to the closest harbor. And when everything is fixed and upgraded, we will try to check... Uh, the Danish coast.
Oh wait, you are supposed to head this way. Okay, we don't need that road. What the hell is it with all of the windmills? What did I just... Alright, oh, I just... just uh, researched economics. I thought that we already had the tag for windmills and now I was like thinking, why the hell am I missing windmills in, in so many cities? Hmm. I think I'm gonna leave this units, uh, these units where they are. It's not like we're gonna need them within, I don't know, 15 turns. Um, and I'll move them off camera, at least give the orders off camera. And now we'll just focus on uh, all of the ships. Okay, you need to die. Are you fast? Well, not you. Are you fast enough to make... No. Hey... Keep working. I'm not quite sure why Babylon denounced us. By the, that's the new spy that we got at the end of the previous episode. I don't really know what to do with it uh, or with him, so I sent him to Marseille. It uh, has basically no defense. Maybe level up and then we're going to pull him back to defend our cities. What is this? Sanction Austria. Sanction France. Sanction France sounds good. Okay, how does it look like round here? Uh, we can probably give you this tile and you could use a decent production tile as well. Yeah, these three cities are a little bit too close to each other. Uh, we don't want to work the sea tiles. This is horrible. Uh, let's get probably the workshop. And I want to work it, but I'm, I know myself. I'll forget, so if I pay for half of it, maybe when we get back to the city, I'll still remember what I wanted to do.
Oh, right, I don't have money for upgrades, so I might as well go as far as possible. Oh, that's a lot of units. <coughs> okay, maybe I can trust Germany with the defense after all. Now, how much are the units that we need to flip Babylon with Opus? A strategic monopoly on horses. And now we don't even have to buy any luxuries. Great. Because the trading will become increasingly difficult now. Am I missing? Quite a lot. Okay, what do we want to start with? Probably the Inquisitor. Well, that wasn't enough. Let's get the seaport on this side as well, just in case. Next. Because this is starting to look more and more like um, the final battle of this series is going to be uh, one continent against the other. I think France at this point is strong enough to probably vassalize rather than completely uh, erase Denmark from the map. But I wouldn't be surprised that by the time we actually get to the attack, 
uh, Denmark won't be independent anymore or won't be on the map at all. Although that would be difficult to do. The, the, those cities are spread out across the, the uh, or like a pretty long strip of land. What? Someone is impressed by my tourism? Did I see that correctly? Wow. Um. Okay, so this should give us... How six citizens? Six citizens already are following Islam. There we go. That means we want more of these guys. I'm really curious how is Denmark going to react to our fleet. Probably don't want to spread the fleet out so much. Some of our ships are actually quite uh, experienced. Like the first, what was it, the first six, maybe first eight, got some decent amount of experience from all of the quests that um, we completed, all of the cities that we captured, because we had a quest to capture like four or five cities as uh, we are conquering our continent. Complete all of them, and um, that's like what over 100 experience well, over 100 experience for uh, the first few ships. So, I'm thinking that we might be able to try something around Arhus. But the terrain here is well, ter or terrain like the shape of the coast is ah, uh, so bad. Global Monopoly on Perfume. That's gold, right? I think 19 gold per turn is pretty decent.
Really? New unit? And was that a tank? Or a land ship? There is Brandenburg Gate, so that's a general. Uh, where is it? Here. Uh, plus 10 for our unit cap, that's the most important part. Where did you come from? Well, with um, that unit cap increase, you can probably keep him. You are done. Let's fix that finally. Do you want to keep the land ship? Yeah, I have no idea where it came from. Unit from Belgrade, unit from Sofia. Oh, okay, so we got two at the same time. Oil connected, construction project from Bogota. Hey, I actually remembered. Great. Now we can queue up. All of the cheap stuff. So that's not enough. see anything France is that your handiwork here all of the ships are gone I'd be surprised if Denmark didn't have any ships at this point. They're probably just fighting France somewhere else. Yeah, there has to be a lot of naval fighting there. It seems admirals everywhere on the Danish side. How many corvettes do we have? 14.
What am I missing? I'm not that much, right? Oh, I am actually missing quite a lot. How many workers do we really need at this point? Okay, I think this will be all for this episode. One more thing. I want to move these to somewhere where I'm going to see them and don't forget them. Uh, okay, so I think this is all for today's episode. Next time we start probing the uh, Danish defenses that might not even be there, it seems. Uh, I'll try to attack Arhus. We'll see how that goes. I'm a little afraid that Corvettes against cities that will be able to get to strength 60 plus. You can see Copenhagen already at strength 80. Uh, that uh, cities of this strength will be a little too much for Corvettes. But if they are too much, actually we are not that far from industrialization, so we could just pull back, rotate through friendly territory here, upgrade them, and then for um, for ironclads. I mean, eighty is still a lot, but there is no way these cities get to strength eighty, right? And once we control one and bring our field guns, then it's game over. <coughs> Excuse me. How far away are we from ballistics? I think riflemen would be really nice. I have no idea where I'm gonna get the money to upgrade all of it. Yeah, let's go ballistics next. We'll try to get combined arms from some free tag that I'm sure we will get somewhere at some point. Um, up here, we will grab electricity so that we can maybe at some point even get our light tanks. But we're gonna need so much money that I have no idea where we're gonna get. Uh, after electricity, it's probably flight. And then we just continue to like radar, mobile tactics, something, whatever. At that point, uh, the game will be already over. Hopefully. Good. So I hope that you liked this episode, even though there wasn't quite as, my, quite as much action as uh, all of the previous ones. Uh, next time, uh, I should... Or it should be, hopefully, uh, better again, much more fighting. But, yeah, there are uh, these episodes from time to time where we just have to prepare for the next war properly. I still have a feeling that um, uh, the attack won't be as easy as it looks. I 
even though yeah obviously Denmark is having problems in France there are still uh, there are still some surprises that Denmark has in store for us I will see about that next time uh, I hope that you're gonna join me for the next episode again and until then have a good time bye bye